Hey everybody, it's me, Sung One, and today we're gonna be opening up another Doki Doki Boxy. Thank you, Doki Doki Boxy, for sending this. I look forward to seeing what goodies are inside. All right, we got some Tohado Caramel Corn. I'm always a fan of this stuff in general, but apparently this is cheesecake flavored, so that sounds very exciting. Okay, like this. There is definitely a different flavor to this, but I don't know if I taste cheesecake. It almost tastes kind of like fruity to me, but maybe that's just me, but. Nice puffs, nice sweetness. Yeah, not bad. I've had these before, these are pizza puffs. Specifically Texas corn, Texas corn pizza flavor. Like this. Nice zesty pizza flavor, very tomato-y, very, um, it's got that nice little spice to it. Not spice, but like um the, you know, you can taste the pizza spices. They're nice little puffs. Oh, here's a little, looks like a little Vegeta. Let's put them together. I will destroy you, Kakarot. Here's something called Ariel. Ariel chips get their name because of the air in between each layer. And these are cheddar cheese flavor. That sounds promising. Okay. These taste very similar to Bugles. Very light, crispy, but like lighter than, like lighter and crispier. Otherwise, really nice sweet corn taste. Really nice cheddar cheese taste. I really like these a lot. The light crispiness is really addictive with that really awesome cheese flavor. Here's a strawberry kind of fruit by the foot snack. I've had this before. These are uh, called strawberry rolls. Okay. It's got a good chew, nice strawberry sweetness. Um, not that tart, just kind of like sweet and slightly tart, um, but very, very soft and but has just ni a nice sort of, almost like jelly-like chew to it. Here's some ABC message cookies. Here's D, D for dope like me, because I'm dope. Yep, pretty much just a nice standard sweet, Kind of butter cookie. Some nice vanilla notes. It's a nice little cookie. They're cute. And you can spell out words. You can learn while you eat. Here's a chocolate pie. Looks like this. Buttery, flaky. Um, it's got a little sugar crystals in there, which are a nice touch. And the chocolate is subdued, but it's in there. It's like a nice little chocolate filling. But overall, this is definitely more about the crispy outside, the crispy, flaky pie outside. I had these semi-recently, and I really like these. These are the buttered corn flavored snacks with the ninja. Oh! Ninja snack Fuamaru soy sauce butter flavor. And I like these nice shapes. So buttery, so nice and savory, really light and just melts in your mouth. Um, they're like these little butter puffs, basically. And I love soy sauce flavored snacks. And so having soy sauce combined with butter is a magical combination. Here's a little, it's a little guy. What is it, like a like a bear or something? I can't, can't tell. Un choco, lucky poop chocolate. Oh, okay. I think this is some kind of bear or, or something, but I guess he's gonna poop out a chocolate. Oh yeah, there we go. Pooping out a, come on, poop it out, poop it out. Just shaking this animal to get its poop out. It's time to poop. Oh, it's in a plastic bag. I already destroyed his butthole. Or you know what? Oh, here's his butt! Oh, he pooped it out! Basically little chocolates covered in a candy shell. The candy shell is actually very fruity. Usually with these candies, you get like just like I'm a sweet default candy covering. But these definitely taste fruit flavored. But yeah, otherwise pretty standard, just kind of candy covered chocolate. Here's some bourbon luberas. These cookies are rolled and coated with butter. Sounds good to me. Okay, and they look like this. Super delicate. They just kind of crumble, like dissolve, crumble into your mouth. Nice and buttery, very light sweetness, but it's like perfect. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness and buttery without overpowering it. Really delicate. These are very, very good. Here's a crazy Mejo Mejo Nero Nero, some kind of witch's cauldron do-it-yourself thing. Um, so I'll do this in a separate video. Oh dang, so here's something called Ozak. It's got like a big pan of food on top. Ozak Taiwan Soba flavor. Oh, that's really interesting. It's a soupless type of ramen containing ingredients like leeks, egg yolk, and spicy soy sauce. Um, this sounds right up my alley. Looks like this. The chips are light and airy. Like they got little, you know, air bubbles in them. But very, very densely flavored. Um, Really savory, slightly spicy blend. It definitely has that meaty taste. I've had Taiwanese hot pot, and you can definitely taste kind of like some of the same sort of flavors in this as you would in that. Um, but yeah, really, really nice and tasty, savory, meaty, spicy blend. These um, 
These animals are having a blast with the maracas. These are shaka 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 gummy. Um, add on a special powder, seal the bag, shake, and enjoy sugar shug, shug, sugar coated gummies with real fruit juices, grape, lemon, cola, and ramen. Oh, I guess we'll shaka shaka shock it up. Okay, we got our powder. Pour that all in the bag. Let's shake it up. Look at all that sugar powder. Not bad, that one was grape. Or chewier than most gummies. I don't know how much the sugar adds to it. I don't know if you even need the sugar, but you know, it's not bad. But otherwise, good flavor. Good, good, um, I had a grape one, a coal one, a lemon one. Um, yeah, they taste like how they're supposed to taste. Good sweetness, and yeah, nice. Here's some vanilla and strawberry chocolate. Country Ma'am, which I've had this brand before, but I don't think I've had their chocolate. I like that name, Country Ma'am. Country Ma'am. I'll try one vanilla and one chocolate, or, or strawberry. Okay, this one is vanilla, I think. The vanilla one is actually crunchy. Like, I think it's supposed to taste like a cookie, actually, now that I see the cover. So there, I think maybe there's like a little cookie crisps or cookie crunches in there. And let's try what I believe is the strawberry. Yeah, there's definitely like, I don't know, like a little, maybe cookie pieces or something in there. It has a little bit of a crispiness to it, but nothing like, a, not like a full on cookie. I think it adds a lot to it to have that kind of texture and component. So these are nice. Here's some, it's a Pikachu candy. Pikachu's evolving candy. So at first they are delicious strawberry candies, but depending on your choices, it can change. You can suck it to get a melon flavor or bite to get a watermelon flavor. That's very interesting. So I'll, I'll bite through this one first. As it is, you can't even taste the strawberry barely. It's like extremely, well, a little bit. All right, I tasted a little melon at first, but there definitely is a watermelon, overall watermelon taste there. And now let's try sucking on it. As you suck it, it gets more tart. But I don't know if that's, that tastes more like strawberry than melon. And then yeah, there's a little bit of melon, but um, it's pretty faint actually. I think when you bite it, you get more, it's better to bite these, I think. Having that sort of watermelon with the melon experience, like it's a much stronger flavor. Here is, uh, this is Rilakkuma's bird friend. I don't know, I don't know, I think, because Rilakkuma's in the back. This is a Rilakkuma pretzels, honey butter pretzels. Ooh. If you never had a honey butter snack, it's such a nice flavor combination. Not as sweet as I thought they would be. And also, it's not really a pretzel so much as it like it's like a pretz, like kind of just cracker stick. It's definitely more buttery than honey. There is a honey note to it, like it is slightly sweet. But it's definitely more buttery, but it's a very nice light honey buttery taste. Here's an Aji curry snack. I like this little man on the front. It's Mr. Aji. The the consistency is like if you ever had Korean shrimp crackers, I kind of like it's like not too puffy, it's like almost like a crunch. Crunch puff, that's what these are like. And the curry itself flavor is um, not sweet like usual curry. It's definitely more on the s s salty, savory end. Um, it's very just in your face, just not, it's very it's very straightforward, just this is like curry powder taste, as opposed to like the sweeter style of the Japanese curry. Here's some Fran, oh yeah, look at that, look at that thick strawberry, I'm all about that. It's got melted butter on the cover, so you can tell it's gonna be all real good, okay. There is definitely a noticeable butteriness to the filling, not, or I always say filling, not to the frosting. Like usually the cracker is buttery. Maybe it's just the cracker is strongly flavored. But I can definitely taste that butteriness through the strawberry cream. So very decadent, very decadent um, strawberry stick. Here's some green tea Kit Kats. These are always my go-to for Japanese Kit Kats. Used to buy these all the time. Still the one of the best Japanese Kit Kats out there. Sweet, creamy but just enough sweetness to have that nice earthy notes of the green tea. Very good combination and very tasty. I, I, this is my favorite green tea snack. It's my favorite man, it's my favorite man Umaibo with a cool eye patch. This is gyutan or beef tongue flavor. Beefy, tangy, almost like a black peppery, almost like a, like a vinegary sweet edge to it too. Yeah, well, definitely good on the smoky peppery side with a nice meat flavor. Ooh, my bow, you the best. And finally, here's some chips. I don't know what flavor these are. These are, ah, oh, nori. So like um, sesame, or like um, seaweed. So they're like seaweed flavor. Nice and crisp, salty, briny. It's got some sesame flavor too. Um, if you like seaweed, you'll like these. Really nice seaweed, crispy, 
of savory flavor. All right, that was Doki Doki Boxing. My favorite snack of the box are these Ariel cheese crisps. They're super good. All right, if you want to get your own Doki Doki Boxing, there's a link in the description below, and I will see you all next time.